Hi, I'm Joanne Banco, author and online educator at Let's Go Sew. Today, I want to help you be the best dressed in your neighborhood when you're working in the garden. So I've got a garden apron project for you. Let me walk over to the dress form and show you a few of the details. So first of all, this is um, an apron that I designed to be waterproof. So I'm using ripstop nylon fabric today. I'm gonna give you some, some tips on sewing that, but it's a little bit, little bit unique, a little bit different to use that, but thoroughly um, waterproof, so you won't have to worry about you know garden sprays and uh, mud or dirt, anything. It'll all uh, wash right off really, really easily. And then the second detail in this, of course, is the pockets. So I tried to design something that would be very practical and very useful. So we've got a zippered pocket that we're gonna focus on today, and that zippered pocket is a nice decorative accent fe feature, but it's also gonna give you a place to store something you make sure you don't wanna lose. If you've ever dropped anything outside, you know what I mean. So your phone, your keys, whatever you need that you wanna keep secure can be stored in that pocket. And then of course you got these other little extra pockets that you can um, slip your seeds in or um, some of your small garden tools. So very, very easy and very, very fun to make. So let me go back over here and show you what you need supply-wise. First of all, we're starting with a very basic pattern. And of course, you can change the size to suit your own taste. Very um, easy to you know, measure on yourself. So we've got a 24 inch wide piece here and um, 36 inches long. And you, you're, we're gonna have a fold line here. I like to draw my patterns on pattern tracing cloth because it just makes it really, really easy to make the pattern. And label it so that you know what you've got for next time. I think you might like this so much, you'll make it again, maybe do it for gifts for, for friends. I did draw grain lines on here. So if you take a look at my grain lines, I did that because I wanted you to know that you can cut that either way that you want. So if you want to um, you know, have that parallel to the selvage or crosswise, that's fine. Either way you like it is fine. So let's talk again about supplies. You're gonna want a good quality, strong thread that is going to match your fabric, of course. I'm gonna sew with contrast today so that you can see. The um, nylon ripstop fabric, I want you to know that this does have a right and a wrong side. The rib lines or grid lines are a little more prominent on the right side, so make sure um, you mark that if you need to so you don't get confused. You're gonna need some very ordinary uh, ribbon for the tie and two pieces that I'm gonna use for the zipper. Now, it's important when we do the decorative stitching that those pieces are firm and stable for your decorative stitching. So I'm gonna uh, just pick this up and show you how crispy this is. I stabilized mine with a liquid stabilizer. You put the liquid on, you let it dry, and it makes it really, really nice and stiff. So that's one option. You can use a tear away or even fuse some interfacing on the back. So do whichever way you like it. Then you're gonna need a seven inch zipper and you're gonna need a very small little ribbon piece for the tie for the, um, the tab for pulling the zipper. And then you wanna make sure that you're using um, sharp, fine needle because that's gonna pierce this fabric better. And then, um, Glass head pins work really, really well too. So I'm gonna head over to the machine and we'll get started stitching. All right, so I'm gonna start by showing you the ribbon. And I've already selected my favorite, one of my favorite uh, decorative stitches. And I'm gonna actually turn the um, projector on here so that I can preview my stitch right on my fabric. So while that's booting up, I'm gonna get my um, ribbon positioned and you, if you could look here, you could see that I've actually got my decorative stitch lined up right on my ribbon. I'm gonna lower my presser foot and I'm using a special foot control that's allowing me to do that with, um, with my foot. So let me get started stitching on this and just go right down the center. So again, you can see my ribbon's nice and stiff and that's gonna keep that nice and, and firm. I could see my decorative stitch right down the center there. I could preview different stitches, see which ones I, which ones I like. And um, you can even make some different test pieces if you want to. So go right down just a little bit here so that you can see how pretty that is. Makes it. And you know, there's a lot of different ways that you can do this. You've got 
lots of decorative stitches built into different machines, so test the ones that you like. You could even consider just doing um, straight lines of sewing or add some trim there. So let's cut that thread. I'm gonna take that out and just give you a little peek at this. There we are, a really pretty, nice accent to that. Now you're gonna see a little bit of a ripple in there. Don't worry about that, that presses all out nice and flat. So let me show you one that I already have finished. You can see my whole nice long line there. And now it's time for me to actually switch to the zipper foot. And I've got a special zipper foot here that I'm using, so let me hit, let you take a peek at that really quick. It's very, very flat and it's narrow, so that I'm gonna be able to just very easily sew really, really close to that zipper edge. And in order to do that, I'm gonna to need to go into my utility stitches, and I'm just gonna pick a regular straight stitch. But it's gonna be really important for me to make sure that stitch moves over all the way to the right-hand side, because I wanna sew on the right-hand side of that foot, and it has a, a full left and a full right. And I'm gonna set that all the way over to seven, so just keep punching that until I get my seven there. It comes in small increments. And then you can see that's all the way over on the left. So I'm just gonna simply lay that up against that. And in real life, <laughs> I would be securing that. So the glue stick is what I would use for that um, so that I've got that nice, and um, snug up on that. So I'm just gonna go right along that zipper and you see how that, that narrow foot just allows me to go right along that edge. Nice and smooth and nice and easy. My ribbon looks like it's just a tad short here. You'd want that um, a full length. So, you know, I've just got just a little bit, little bit short there. You want that to be all the way down. But I'm gonna just do that on, on with both ribbons that I have on both sides. And here's what it looks like when it's finished. Of course, I use matching thread on this. So the next step is to switch to our regular standard presser foot. I'm gonna do that. And I'm gonna get the projector turned off because I don't need that anymore here and just get back to regular sewing. I'm gonna go back to um, a stitch that's gonna give me a position on the left. And I've got my piece already folded where you saw my fold line. And I've actually got here, I want you to take a look at what I've marked because you need to leave an opening at the top to turn this right side out. So I'm gonna show you the stitching here. Get that started. I like to do a half inch seam allowance, but I'm just gonna approximate this today. So I want you to see how easy it is to sew this fabric. You don't need anything special. I'm just using a regular presser foot. If you start to see your fabric just pucker a little bit, just pull real gentle and um, from the front and the back and now straighten that out. So I wanna go up to the corner here because I wanna show you what I would normally do here. I'm gonna stop and I'm going to fold back that seam and I would do that on the other side as well and then start back up on this edge and I've actually got my seam allowance marked on here. So I would back stitch there and I wanna show you, show you what I'm gonna do here sewing wise. I'm gonna go up to this corner and if you saw I had that marked, I wanna stop right there and I wanna pivot because it's easier when you go to turn this right side out and you're going to have to turn under that part where you have the opening and fold it. So I'll show you this in a second here. It's easier if you've got that line of stitching right along there. So I would continue, go around the other side the same, the same way turn it right side out, and I would end up with the whole piece. The next step then would be to fold it up on that fold line. Now let me talk for a second here um, while I'm switching the presser foot about pressing because this fabric is nylon. So you want to test your iron temperature on a scrap and you wanna make sure that you're using a uh, low temperature with that. 
okay? So I'm gonna go back here now and I need to move that needle over again all the way to that right side. And I'm gonna unfold this. I can do multitasking here and punch that screen at the same time. And you can see I've already got that pinned in place. I've got my ribbon ends turned under at each end to finish that off. And again, I'm gonna take advantage of this nice flat zipper foot and I can get right up close to my previous stitching. I'm gonna stitch that down. Again, I'll do a little reverse here. I'm again using contrast thread. If you want that to really blend in, then you would use thread that matches your, your ribbon. But you could use the color like I'm using as well. I want you to see the principle here, so how this pocket is actually formed. So back stitch there, cut my thread. Okay, so I'm doing this on a single layer. Hopefully the method of my madness here all makes sense. I'm then gonna flip that up. I'm gonna now top stitch this other edge right close to the, um, the zipper teeth and then I would also top stitch it right close to the opposite edge. So I'm just gonna stitch that part. I won't worry about being too neat here today. You get the picture here. I just want you to see the whole process for this. Okay, and then I would sew this seam here. So let me get that zipper tab out of the way. And you see how that pocket is formed. And then all I've got to do is my second pocket right there. So let me go ahead and lay this flat up here. So that you can see, I would go ahead and stitch my second pocket. I'd stitch my two sides. I would then add my ribbon centered. I've got that all turned under, the raw edge, and I am ready to go and garden and have fun with my new apron. <laughs>